we are taking the podcast to the other side of the world, to the beautiful country of Italy. And I'm going to introduce you to one of the top steel window manufacturers in the world, Brombal. Get ready for Inspiring Living. Welcome to our podcast, Inspiring Living, with me, Mark Candelario. I'm an architect, blogger, traveler, chef, father, and husband. I'm the founder and now partner of a fabulous 25-person architecture firm specializing in high-end residential architecture, designing amazing homes across the country. We have hosted tours to Italy, Spain, and now Napa over the last 20 years, and in the course of all this, I have met a lot of interesting people who truly inspire me. Our podcast is about all the opportunities that are right there in front of us to inspire living. Yes, we will talk about architecture and design, but every week we will venture into all sorts of topics that will inspire you, teach you, and motivate you to inspire living every day. My guests will include a wide gamut of amazing people from those in the design industry to clients to real estate professionals, chefs, artists, sports figures, and philanthropists, and people to just flat out get it. Sit back and enjoy, and let's have some fun exploring all the opportunities that are there just waiting for us. Please subscribe and get ready to be inspired every week. Okay, as my dad says, here we go. Benvenuti from Italy. Okay, we are doing our podcast uh, not too far from Oslo, Italy. We're pretty close. That's where we ended our tour in September. And here we are on the Brombo tour. Brombo Window Company has treated us to an amazing tour. We've been here since Sunday. We got here on Monday. And I've got a whole group of famous architects from around the country, builders from around the country. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to start with my business partner who joined me on this journey, Miss Vivian Ayala. How are you? Um, Muy bien. No, it's Spanish. Shoot. Doesn't (laughs) matter. Molta bene. How's that? Molta bene. Grazie. That's pretty good. Molta bene. Grazie. So what do you think? This is your third trip to Italy. Third trip. Yeah? All of them very different. Very different, right? Very different. From going to a school trip... You know, before graduating to to um, your, you know, our the tour. Italy You're tour. on my Italy tour, and, and then, then this now one. this is amazing. This it's has been, been amazing. amazing, huh? We've gone nonstop. Absolutely. It's I always packed. think my trips are nonstop. This this is packed. This is even more packed than what I do. Absolutely. <laughs> like man, we were just we were hanging on by a thread a couple of days, huh? Oh yes. Yeah. We're still going. We're still going. We fly home in a few hours. A few hours. Yeah. Well, we're at this beautiful house. The Bromble family invited us all over. And they are barbecuing for the entire tour. Now, who does that sound like? Uh, kind of us. Kind of <laughs> like us, huh? Something like maybe I would do, huh? <laughs> See, right. I'm not crazy. <laughs> this proves I'm not crazy. Okay? It's about family. It's about family and culture. 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 Yes. And it smells so good, doesn't it? Since we went through that driveway all the <laughs> It's beautiful. So what is what is what's been your impression of this trip? And the windows that we saw and the doors. Well, first of all, I mean, the the window system, it's absolutely amazing. The um, possibilities are endless. Anything that you can think of, they can make They it. can make So to me, it's like, why would you put together a brochure to say what you can do when you can do anything? Right. So it's hard to put everything together when your imagination could go anything harder. But, but be- beyond that, it's about... Their family culture. Right. It's about their it's the whole thing. passion. It's about how the dedication and how every staff member makes a difference in this company. Sounds very familiar, also, doesn't it? That's kind of us. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's what I got from this trip. I mean, I love the product and and everything, but to see how they infuse their culture. Okay, we just had a power outage. Uh, you probably heard it cut, but it's power's back on now. We're back on. We're back on. We're just rolling with it here. <laughs> you right? Yeah, never the barbecue, stop. The barbecue didn't lose power. It's all I'm, on fire, I'm so, so that's glad. good. I'm yeah, so glad. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we were talking about the culture, and this company has an amazing idea of culture. And I mean, I loved how they presented in their video, and it's just, it's very inspiring. Exactly. It, it is about for them to establish that base. And yes. from that base, is so strong that moving forward, it only makes sense. Yes. And it always makes sure that when they move the extra steps, it makes sense as a group, it's cohesive, and it, it definitely... It all works. Makes, it all works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we went to the factory. We toured the factory. We went into their studio and, and, and met the owners, and they talked about their product specifically. 
and um, the the whole thing was very very informative and uh, very educational. I mean, extremely organized more yes. than anything. Um, I mean, I think that the staff here have gone above and beyond just to take care of every need yeah. of everybody. There's about, what, 30 of us, would you say? I would say that a little bit more. Yeah, I'm maybe a little bit more. So that's yes. that's a handful. I've it, done 22 a on a trip, and I know what that's like, moving this people a around. big group, for yes. sure. <laughs> and so um, we saw everything also. In addition to the trip, they took us on various sites around the area. We saw contemporary architecture. We saw villas by Palladio. Uh, we saw a lot. Yes, we saw the distillery for Grappa. Oh, yeah. That, that was how amazing. How did I forget that? <laughs> right? Yeah, we, we've had a little Grappa. We've had a little Vino. We've had a little Prosecco. And we ate We ate a little bit of food. Just a little? <laughs> <laughs> I think the tire, I think the, I don't think they have to worry about the power going. I think they have to worry about the tires on the bus going flat. Y yes, it's too much food. It's too much food. Too much Ooh. food. So, but we had fun. We even did some singing. You missed the singing, but I know. Mateo and I did some singing, and and, uh, and McLean, McLean. Oh yeah, that. it was fantastic, huh? So, we're gonna eat, huh? It's time to eat. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna go grab a little barbecue, okay? And then we'll come back and get some more of the crowd on this uh, podcast tonight, huh? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Grazie. I'm so glad you came Bye. with me. Thank you. We've had fun, haven't it, we? It has been it's amazing. nice to get some time, just the two of us, exactly. isn't it? And I mean, all the architecture, let's say, what we have seen, yeah. and all the inspiration, so it's great. It's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go eat. Thank manja, you. Manja, manja. Bye. Bon appetito. Okay, I've got the uh, gentleman here now that uh, invited us on this fabulous trip, Joe Yunin, right? That's right, Mark. I said it correct. You nailed it. Correct. Okay, tell us, tell us where you are, how you got us on this trip. After years of, years of begging, we, <laughs> just kidding. We uh, we were asked by you know we've been the Bromble distributor in California now for several years. The Bromballs asked us to introduce the Bromble product to the Arizona market, and in doing so, we were introduced to the ARA group. There and you go. That's how this all came about. So we did our original trip, which Mark wasn't able to attend about right. two years ago. I think Matt from my office went and had a great time. Matt was, went. That yes. was his first trip to Italy. Yes. He had a great time. and You ruined him forever, you he, realize that. He had a little bit better weather than <laughs> we've had, luckily. But yeah, this has been a great been trip, too. So the it. weather's added character. It's yeah. been really nice. So it's, it's great to have you and Vivian out here. John's out here again with us for his uh, second time. Second go-round here on the Bromble trip. But... Uh, oh. Well, the, the window, the, the window, and the door system is incredible. And Vivian and I were talking about the culture of your company, and obviously we've met a lot of the representatives from different parts of the country from your for your company. And you do, you guys all have the same passion and energy, is what I see. That's I think very very cool. You know, it, it, it's a very unique product, and and for us. Um, Getting into the steel window and door market about 10 years ago, um, especially especially where I'm located, you know, my point uh, point of origin is Southern California, yep. and and it was it was uh, very much uh, how do I say it? maybe a boys club. It was very difficult, it was very restrictive to break into that market, and we had a product that was very new that we were able to do so with, but we looked at the market and where it was trending in terms of federal energy regulations, state energy regulations, and we really had to take a step back and say, what is the best product? What is our what is going to be our long term solution for a thermally broken steel or metal, bronze, corten, stainless steel product? Your finishes are amazing, by so, the way. Yes, they it's it's second to none. It really is a second to none product. So we kind of we dropped what we were doing. We dropped what we were doing, and that's easy to say when you're going to go to Italy. Yeah. But, you know, we stopped and said, let's, let's go explore this product, because we were skeptical. I was very skeptical about, you know, with the high demands of the construction industry yeah. and, and, and the thought, the logistical nightmare of bringing product So in. you were selling other windows when we you do. got and introduced we, to and Brown we Ball. Still, yes, we, and we still sell other products, but... Brown Ball is our primary gotcha. steel, bronze, and, and core 10 product. In Arizona, it's the exclusive product that we sell. Gotcha. Um, and we took a step back and looked at, you know, what was going to be our long-term solution moving forward. So we came out here, and 
this is an understatement, but we fell in love with the Brown Ball product, the Brown Ball family, and everything they can do. And and these trips, I think, they're they're necessary. They they are a necessary part of this process yeah. of doing business with Brown Ball, of understanding the product, of facilitating the product to your customers, the use of that product to your customers. Uh, you cannot do it without coming here and understanding the culture, the passion, uh, the amount of detail that's put into this product. I, I think that the phrase, to sum it up, it's it's a way of life yeah, for the Brown Balls. Totally. It is. It's every dollar is reinvested back into the product. I mean, Mark, we're, we're standing here on a property yeah, that the, it's been unreal. in the Brown Ball family for 70 years. Hmm. And you have five generations of Brown Balls living on this very... And cooking. Cooking and living on this very modest property. Yeah. And it's been in their family and they're great people and, and there's, they're so proud of what they do. And I think their their name and the product they put out there is paramount to them. There's yeah. there's nothing more important to them. I mean, I can reach out to the Brom Balls. It, for them, what's 11, 12 o'clock at night, and I get immediate responses. It's it's unfathomable to do business with some with a with a company that's so vested right. in their product. Well, we've had the two brothers all all week. We've been here, and then now we've had. Papa at the one of the morning meetings and on the grill all evening, and what an amazing dinner that was! It is amazing. It, it, I think it speaks to the level of passion that they put into everything. Everything yeah. they do is, you know, they they want to treat you like family, yeah. and and they open their homes to it. And if you think about that thought, I mean, it's it, it it's almost how much more vulnerable can you make yourself? I mean, you there's, it, I, it speaks to what they're doing. Yeah. It's there's there's. N- there's no angle. There's no. No. There's no wanna, anything. It's, they want it, you to enjoy the windows. They want to create the best window possible, and they want you to walk away with a story of how those windows were made, and the feeling of those windows, and the beauty of those windows, and you feel it. You walk away. I'm so, I'm so excited to get one of these products, one of one of these window door systems in one of my houses. I mean, I can't tell you how how exciting I would be to see this in one of my houses. I, I think I think your houses deserve this product. I think it's just a matter of time. I know oh, we've yeah. looked at some great projects with you guys, but it is an absolutely stunning product. The sky's the limit. Uh, the amount of and it doesn't matter to the style. I mean, this could go into contemporary and go to traditional and go transitional. It can it can do anything. It lends itself to anything. Right. You know, I, I I think we're standing here in this wonderful pool house, and you yeah. see a lot of contemporary and modern element to it. But you know, it, it's it's a product that can transform itself to any style of architecture. It's timeless. The metals, the finishes. Well, the other thing I was impressed with, you guys took us to that glass factory, and I think we saw a 25-foot by 10-foot window system with no dividers, just one giant sheet of glass. I mean, that was incredible. It is. It's. I mean, the thought of being able, uh, and this is, and you have beyond this capability, but as a standard glass offering, 252 square feet, of insulated glass, warranted for ten years, and and the quality is second to none. It's right. state of the art tempering and low iron content and lamination, and it's all fully rated for wind load and deflection and all, and all these great things. It's a it's the it's really the most comprehensive product line available on the market. Well, and I think that's one of the things that struck me is you know we deal with a lot of wind- this is actually the seventh window tour I've been on in my life. Do you realize that? That is seven. I've been to amazing. Criddle in London. I've been to Jeldwin in Tijuana. I've been to uh, Sierra Pacific in Northern California. I've been to Hopes. I've been to two Ponto window f- uh, tours here in Italy. And now, th- now th- this, this Bromble tour. Okay, so your tour is the best tour by far. I mean, it's not, not even anything close to this. The, the tour is very architecturally driven. I mean, it, really, this product is marketed for the marquee architects and builders in the well, country. Well, it's very culinary driven, too. Yes, We've, it is. we've eaten v- quite well on this trip. What would be, <laughs> what would, what a, what would a tour of Italy be oh without God. these meals? Totally. I mean, it's... Uh, well, then you finished in Asolo, which is one of my favorite little villages. So I was like, this is perfect. It's one of the most beautiful towns out there. And it's, uh, it, it's, they do a very good job of putting it on and... They want you to be comfortable. They want you to enjoy yourself. You've traveled 
seven, 8,000 miles to come here and taking time out of your yeah. schedule. Uh, but they want you to understand the product. And I think until you come here, and this is what I tell a lot of the, the builders and architects, is it is worth making the trip. Oh, yeah, it is, definitely. It is a big investment. And when you look at it and, and, and you're trying to explain and, and justify that to your clients and articulate that, I, I don't think you could really do so no. without coming here because yeah. you really get a full understanding of what they can offer and what they can do. Well, there was so many aspects of this trip that reinforce what we do at Candelaria Design. I, mean, I love to cook. I love this house complex. This, this is an idea that I, I would like to incorporate somewhere else. Like I told Vivian, let's go buy some land and let's do the Candelaria house. We'll have the grill there. We can rent it out. We can have seminars. This, is, this place is amazing. This is it. This is a great concept. And, great concept. And, and, and so you know, Mark, that before... You know, the factory's been a long work in progress. It's grown and grown and grown. And and to speak to what the Brombles are doing and how they are... Do you see it year from year? Every year it's grown. I mean, we spent that... The the building, the exploratory offices yeah. that we spent time in today, that is a, is a very new product. I hmm. mean, we used to do that here in the pool house. So we'd, sp- you know... And, in years past, we'd spend multiple, or we'd make multiple visits to this, to this, to the Bromball compound, gotcha. and, and spend time here, and we do the, the learning and things yeah. of the product, and so it's uh, it's grown. It's they've continued to grow, uh, but it's it's very reassuring to see how much they reinvest back into the product. Right. Now, how many times have you been to Italy? This is, I think, my. And I, I could be wrong. I think it's about my seventh or eighth trip. Do you back. come like twice a year? Or? I'm coming once a year once now. A year, okay. Yeah, we're trying to do it once a year. Uh, <laughs> it's not I, a hard place I, to know, come back. No, to, it's is not. It? No, I wouldn't mind doing it. I, it, I wouldn't mind doing it twice a year, but <laughs> once a year is. I I like to bring. I I love bringing big groups of people, and yep. I love bringing, you know, just our group in general. We've got a great group from Southern California. Yeah, this is a good mix of people. You great group East from Coast, Arizona. We've got the people from New York. Dallas. Yeah, the people from Texas. It's yeah. great. I think... Architects and builders. I think I it's, thought was a great mix. Yeah, it's great. I think it's nice to, you know, I... You know, just on the cab ride back, I you know, I was speaking to the builder that does a lot of the work in the Hamptons and to learn yeah. what they're you know, the challenges they're up against and whole different ball game. Yeah, it's it's amazing. But I you know, you, you learn that it is a large world, it's a, yeah. it, but it's a small world as yeah. well. Like it's, and it's getting it's, smaller. Yes. And it's nice to see that. And I think you see that. You have clients that you know, the clients that are using this type of product are building houses throughout the country, right? Sometimes at the same time in multiple locations. And for them, it's it's nice to be able to have a product that they can transition into, you know, a modern home that they're doing in the Hamptons sure. and a traditional house that they're doing, you know, on the West Coast by the beach. Or Mountain home like up in Aspen. So, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so. the thing that I always tell people, too, is is windows and doors to me, of all the products that go into a house, I think it's the most impactful product that there is. I think it, it, it has an, an aesthetic impact it's got an operational impact and you kind of alluded to it a minute ago you know the maintenance factor on windows what's great about this product is the the maintenance is kind of zero you know i mean i'm sure there's some but i've seen other products like you got to you got to oil the wood you got to do this you got to do th- this is you, your finishes are impeccable your operation and your hardware is is above anything i've seen so I'm I'm impressed. The the basic premise of this product is that that timeless aspect. Yeah. The brown balls look at Venice as a and 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 I think it's even more emphasized this week seeing yeah. you know seeing the toll that you know the tides have taken on Venice is it, it's they look at the enduring qualities that Venice offers the world and and they look at their product and. You know, I, I think in America we tend to overlook that a lot of times. It, you know, we're building for twenty you know, years and ten years, ten years, whatever. You know, whatever the minimum requirement is, right. we're building to that a lot of times. Disposable mentality. They, you know, they very much look at their product and and want it to stand for three, four hundred years yeah. and things like that. So, and and that's what that's what the Venetian culture is. Yeah. It's, you know, that that product, the, you know, you look at the bronze sculptures as you're walking through just some random courtyard in Venice, and, yeah. and these statues have been there for... Hundreds of years. Yeah, 
hundreds, thousands, thousands a year. So yeah. I, that's the, you know, it's a testament to what they want to do with their product. Mind, different so, mindset, for yeah. sure. It's definitely, uh, it, it's definitely a very unique product. And so are you, are you flying home tomorrow too? Yes, we are we're the unfortunate on. group that is leaving at uh, three thirty in the morning <laughs> and, and we'll heading see, to the airport. It now it's it's eight o'clock at night, so we're just going to roll until we'll go get some cigars and maybe a little more wine and. Just, just roll right onto that plane, right? Pack that bag and get on the <laughs> plane and get some shut eye and yep. and and uh, back to America. Well, thank you very much, man. This has been a great trip. I, I really enjoy just getting to spend some time with you. Absolutely, it's great. I think um, these trips really give you the opportunity to bond and yeah. learn and 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 uh, step aside from the the you know the hectic pace of life right. typically and and really. Give you that uh, that interaction with one another to understand each other, the products, the yep. places, things I like was, that. What I like about these type of things, and, and we really do this in in our company, is when you do spend a little time with people cooking and and just you know getting out of the work mode and getting to know somebody. I think it really builds the muscle. So when there is a problem or there is a situation you're trying to solve as a team, you've got that you've got that relationship, you've got that energy that. I think infuses into helping solve those situations. I, I think it's critical to this type of product. That's yeah. why uh, this trip, th these trips are necessary. It, it's not a, you know, a lot of people look at it. It, it, it very much could be the concept of we want to schmooze somebody or wine or dine them. It's not. I think it's that it's a big investment. It's a big investment on your part to specify the product. It's a big investment well, I think on the end user. I think what it is is just what you just said a minute ago. You're building windows that, you're, that are going to last 100 years, and, you're, and to do that, you want to build a relationship that will last 100 years. It goes, it goes hand in hand. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. All right, brother. Well, thank you. I'll see you, well, I'll see you tonight, and I'll just see you right on the plane, and hopefully I'll see you soon. I told you to come over, and I'll do some cooking. I, I, am, uh, I will be heading to Scottsdale in a few <laughs> weeks, and hopefully I can round you guys all up, and uh, we'll come over to your place all and right, have man. a great dinner. Sounds good, brother. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Ciao. Okay, now I'm going to shift gears a little bit. I was on the West Coast. Now I think I'm going to the East Coast. Is that right? Or you're just national. You're everywhere. I cover North America. Okay, I've got Dave Bean, and you cover North America. That's, that's a big area. It's a big area. Yep. Yeah. So you've been, you've been kind of leading this tour, at least from my, my perspective. Yep. And you've done a fantastic job. All I can say is I was telling uh, Joe I've been on seven window tours in my career. This, this one blows every, every other tour out of the water. I'm sorry, other w window vendors, <laughs> but these guys got it down. I'll tell you. Thank this you, Mark. amazing. Well, we're honored that you say that and that you recognize that. And this is my third window tour in Italy, too. Oh, wow. And the other two were darn good, too. But this one, this one definitely measures up. What did you like the most? You know, I, I think what I've been hitting on with uh, Vivian and Joe is I think this company shares the same outlook on life and business and combining it all and the passion that we try to do in our company. And to that, me, this, this feels yeah. like home. This feels very familiar to me. And that's what I fell in love with when I met these guys 10 years ago was exactly that. They, yeah. they make you feel part of the family immediately, yep. and that's how they do business. Because if you're doing business as a family member, yeah. you're going to treat you're gonna treat people right. I say and, that all the time to, and, to interview. When I interview yeah. a client, I say, you know, my goal is to make you my friend. You don't have to become my friend, but every, it, everything I do, every decision I make is going to be as if you're my best friend. How would I do it? Or my family. It's the same thing. And it's a, I think it's a great way to, yep. to do business. Yep, you know? Absolutely. So I think the integrity is there. I think the passion is definitely there. The, your, your company's commitment to quality is, is bar none. So how did you get involved in this company? Well, I'll tell you, it's an interesting story. I, I was selling windows and doors in Montana, in the southwest of Montana, and um, had architects asking me for a thermally broken steel product. This was about 12 years ago. Okay. So this was before steel really hit this upward trend yep. that we've seen now. So I caught it on the very low end. And um, at that time, it was hard to find steel that was thermally broken. And in right. Montana and Jackson, Wyoming. Yeah, it was just a little angle we, with a putty yeah, set window. That, that's all you could find. Yeah. And so. Um, and you, you had know, every Tom, Dick, and Harry kind of making these things in their back of their pickup truck. At that point, yeah. Right? At that point, yeah. So finding a true system that I could uh, represent. At the time, my employer had said, whatever you do, Dave, find the very, very best because we know. The people that can afford this steel want the best. They want the best, and if they don't get it, 
yeah. you're going to get it, yeah. right? Yep. And so I started to, to look at companies that, that made the entire system, all the profile, the gasket, the hardware. And then what these companies do is they sell it to fabricators all over the world. Hmm. And what I discovered is there's about four primary system houses in the world. And out of those four, one really stood out, and it was a company called Seiko Systemi. And so when I looked at that, that company, I noticed that the thermal brake was a very robust thermal brake. It mm -hmm. wasn't an afterthought. Yeah. It was something that was designed, and the intent of that design was, was at the forefront of the discussion in, in building that window system. And for people that don't know what thermal brake means, it basically means... It, we'll use Arizona. It's 115 million degrees outside, and you want to be 72 inside, and you've got steel. So steel is a good conductor of heat, right? Absolutely. Or cold. Yep. And so what you're trying to do is separate the steel that's on the outside from the steel that's in the inside. Is that, Perfe is that basically perfectly it? Perfectly stated. Yeah. Perfect. So these guys designed a window with the thermal break as being the primary factor of consideration. And they also offered it in four different base metals, and multitude of profiles. So when I saw that as a window guy, I'd been in the industry about 15, 16 years at the time, I thought, wow, this is going to give me a lot of tools, a lot of, a lot of uh, arrows in my quiver to, right. to, to go and sell these spectacular projects. So in my discussions with this company, I was talking to the CEO of the company. I said, who is your number one fabricator in the world? Because I just want to go to that guy. And without hesitation, he said, Saramenti Brambal. And I said, Okay, who are they, and where <laughs> right. are they? And he said, they're only about 40 minutes from our factory here in Italy. Hmm. And I said, okay, give me the name, number, let me, let me contact these guys. And yep. so he gave me Pier Paolo Brambal's number. How long ago was number. this? This was about 12 years ago. 12 years ago, ago you're saying. Okay, yeah. So uh, I called Pier Paolo, and, and I said, you know, tell me about your company. And immediately, I just felt that warmth. I felt that genuineness and that desire to, to you know, to to get you to understand what they were trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And that was just over the phone. Yeah. And so I said, I'm coming out to, to pay you a visit. I yep. really got to see what you guys are capable of doing. So what I saw the first time, my eyes were open. It's what you guys have seen on this trip. Yeah. And, and it just amazed me. I instantly knew that these guys were the real deal and that I wanted to stand behind what these guys were fabricating. So I went back to Montana, started ordering this product, and... I just never had had a better experience in my 15 years in the window and door industry than dealing with Brom Ball. Brom Ball. Wow. And, and, and then it just led from one thing to another to another, and I started working with these guys full time. So how did the tour eight start? years ago. Well, so when I was in this, uh, in this relationship with them as a dealer, the thing that I always thought about in my mind is I said, how can I get people to see what I saw? Like, right. Like have I'm the a, experience I, you had when you came out I, here. I'm a sales guy. So I, I go out there and, and I see what I saw. And I'm like, telling architects, this is an amazing company. And I can only tell them to a certain point right. for them to understand. And they, they're like, oh, well, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking product. I get it. I said, no, you got to come with me. And so... Uh, right away, like within a year of getting to know the Braun Balls, I brought the first group back here to Italy. And they they just saw what I saw, were excited about it. And not only just the excitement of seeing what they see, but they all built strong relationships right. with the Braun Balls. Right. Any one of them can call the owners of the company at any time and say, I'm looking for something different. Right. Can you guys accomplish this? And they're going to be able to talk right to the top of, of uh, the company, yeah. to the expert, and get that information and get that acknowledgement that they're going to be able to get the, get it done and get it done right. Right. I think that's what struck me in our little seminars or whatever, you, the workshops that you guys had was, you know, depending on, on the style of the house or the finishes you're working with, you need a certain flange or fin or profile or threshold. It's like you guys take what your essence of your product is and adapt it to what the architect or builder wants to accomplish. And that, to me, that was something very, very cool. Well, it's not a product that, that we say, here's our standard and this is it. sizes, and you guys fit it within your design. It's right. completely a, collaborative. a different way of thinking. It's collaborative. Yeah. And we call, it, we call it the discover the freedom to create. That's, yeah. our, that's our motto. That's our tagline. And that's what we live by. Architects love us because... We're, we're giving them what they want in a product. We're not forcing them to take something that we, right. that we have. That's what I thought was very, very interesting. So have you, you've done products, you yourself, all over the country or just mostly Montana? 
all over the country. All over the country. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and assisting them with dealers uh, in specific areas that, that uh, you know, need, need my services. I'll go out right. there and assist them with their uh, builder, with their architect, and, and uh, selecting the right options and solutions for their jobs. Yeah, so are you going back tomorrow? Going back tomorrow. So we're all on that uh, flight to Paris, I guess, right? I, I think a lot of us are a on lot the of flight us, to not Paris. Not all of us, but yep. quite a few of us. Yeah. And then you're going to Montana, or where are you off to? Uh, Missouri. Oh, so Missouri. I've got a home in Missouri as well. Okay. Yeah, that's that's home base for right now. Gotcha. Yep. Well, this has been a fantastic trip. I've had so much fun. I think I've gained... I don't think I'm going to eat until Thanksgiving, which is a week away from today. So, But I'm not complaining. Hey, I weighed 180 pounds when I started this job, and I'm pushing <laughs> 240. So <laughs> don't don't complain to me. That's what I say. I always yeah. bring a little bit of Italy home with me, but I, it's around my waistline, unfortunately. Exactly. I tell people, bring stretchy pants, man. <laughs> You're going to need them for the way home. That's exactly. for sure. Well, great job, and thank you for taking the time for din from dinner to do this. But You're welcome, You Martin. and Joe are awesome. Hey, we're so glad you came, and we look forward to doing some business with you. I'm, I'm going to be doing some business with you. That's for All sure. All right. Thanks a lot, Thanks, buddy. man. Bye-bye. Okay, I met another fun guy on this trip. Actually, we've had a lot of fun with you, dude. Oh, I appreciate a that. A lot of I, fun. Well, maybe a little bit too much too fun much a couple sometimes, times. sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so I've got Kenny Moon here. He, You work with Joe over yeah. in the West Coast. Correct. And you kind of deal with the Arizona region and yeah. the whole thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And this is your first trip to Italy. It's my first trip ever to Italy. So, what do you think? Uh, amazing. You know, what's so crazy about this is the whole time, that I've been here, what keeps popping into my head right now is I've had a, one of my best friends growing up was 100% Italian. Uh -huh. So I, I've been through that whole thing. They actually own an Italian restaurant now. Oh, and wow. Being able to spend the night there and then waking up to like this six course breakfast, I would <laughs> always tell his mom, hey, Josie, I promise you one day I'm going to marry an Italian woman. There you right? go. I actually did. Oh, so good for you. I didn't know about this yeah, part of so the story. Yeah, so my wife is, um, she's about 40% Italian. Yeah, and that's enough. Some other, yeah, but you know her her mom and uh, aunts and all that they're they're Italian they're the, they're the real deal they're the real deal when it comes to cooking they don't do the 2 hour <laughs> sauce they do the 24 hour <laughs> sauce and all of that right yeah but i think what's been the most eye opening experience of all of this is i feel like i have not to disrespect my in-laws by sure. any means but um, i've gotten like this watered down version Italian, of it. yeah the version of the italian culture and yeah. like being here going of that's now what that's I where fell that in love that's with. where that comes that's from. That's where that comes from. Yeah. That's where even the watered down version is so amazing. Oh, yeah. But then to be able to be here yeah. and fully engrossed in it and yeah, it everything. Yeah. So it's pretty neat, isn't it's it? It's been it's been amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So how long have you been with uh, with uh, Joe? Well, officially, I've been with ABSI for three weeks. Actually, there you go. So this will, I think this will be my the end of my fourth week. But I've worked with. Joe for about two, two and a half years, okay. just being in the window and door industry. I've been doing this for about 13, 14 So what, years. what was your takeaway from this trip and this tour? Um, so I've always been under the belief that, yeah, you sell a product, right? Um, but you also sell, like, the culture. Like, right. you buy into the culture and right. you buy into the heritage of what that product is. Sure. And that's really to be able to go beyond a product that I've known but then be able to see... At a whole different level. Yeah, who's building it, why they're doing it. Right. It's the why. It's the why. Exactly. And, and you've already alluded to, and we've kind of talked about it a little bit, is the passion. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the passion is something that I think if you infuse that into any aspect of your life, it makes a huge difference. I think a lot of people will go through life kind of as a zombie, mm -hmm. you know, and this company is on the complete opposite spectrum of that. I mean, they are... They're pushing the limit on everything. I mean, this barbecue tonight is right. pushing the limit. Exactly. So to me, it's just, it's the, again, that passion that's infused into everything that they touch and do. Right. And I think what's beautiful, again, talking about this barbecue tonight, what's beautiful about this barbecue is I, I believe they, financially, I think they're okay, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're not out hiring caterers. They're not no, out hiring. No, no, they're doing it themselves. Every, doing the it whole themselves. damn family was out there the cooking. The family serving us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah. what it's does that them. Say? They're the ones that are on the grill. They're the ones, the women are in the kitchen and yep. doing the salads and the drinks and like all of that. And then they're serving us. Yeah. It's just a, it's a different mentality yeah. than what we see. And it sends a message that I think says, you know, they care and they're sincere. Yeah. And there's integrity behind it. Absolutely. You know, honesty. So, Absolutely. well, you're with a great company. I think Joe, I, I've had a good time getting to know Joe a little bit. Finally, we've, we've known each other for a long time, but just like everything in life, you never get enough time to spend with someone. That's, why I, that's the other thing I always love about these trips is it gives you some time away from, you know, the, the hamster wheel 
and you get some time to connect with people. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, it's no longer just business, business, business. Right. And like, hey, let's actually hang out and have fun with this. I know Kenny now. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Well, we're, you're flying back with us tomorrow? I am. You're partly the, morning. You're partly the 3.30. 3:30. We're just going to roll until 3.30. I've that's been telling what I'm everybody. On I think doing. that's what we're all doing tonight. I already missed one bus trip or almost <laughs> missed one bus trip. I don't want to miss a plane. <laughs> you don't want to so. miss this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks, my friend. Nice meeting you, and, and I look forward to working with you. All right. Thanks for having me. Okay. My next guest on this uh, Brom Bull tour is uh, Brian Woodruff of Swayback and Associates. Okay, so these guys are my competitor. Not really. We're, we're pretty good friends. Oh, we're friendly. We've been having a lot of fun. And, and we tagged along with Brian all the way from Phoenix, right? That's right. So d- did we hook up in Phoenix or did we meet in Seattle? We met in Seattle. I think we, we, we connected in Seattle. Some ridiculous restaurant. Yeah, the Zebra thing yeah, or African Zebra Lounge. Lounge or, yeah, yeah, we eat in Zebra Burgers at 9 a.m. Uh-huh. or something like that. Yeah. So we've had a good time getting to know you. I mean, we've traveled all the way from Seattle to Paris to, to Venice, and we spent the whole week here with you. And uh, this is your first trip to Italy. It is. And what do you think? It's been, uh, it's been amazing. Uh, spectacular, actually. Yeah. Uh, shocking, <laughs> uh, surprising, baffling. Um, it's been incredible. We've gone, we've, we've, uh, we've gone pretty, pretty deep in terms of uh, days and time and not much rest, have right. we? Right. Very busy schedules, but a lot to see, a lot yeah. of incredible experiences. Yes. And a lot to eat. There's been nonstop food, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> there's, so, no, there's no amount of gym work that'll fix this. No, no, it's a, no. Right. This is just going to roll right into it's, Thanksgiving, right yeah. into the holidays. Yeah. So, so what's uh, what's your impression of Italy so far? You know, it's it's. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, you've studied it in, in architecture school. Yep. You've seen photos and imagery and things of that nature. But um, the the probably the most striking thing is how deep the cultural uh, just uh, strength is. In, yeah. in the in the entire area and everything whether yeah. it's contemporary traditional yeah they just have a they, they, the italians just have a passion about everything yeah nothing is done halfway i mean no. everything is done to the absolute most perfect way they could possibly do it they're not yeah. willing to accept something that's less than just yeah. absolutely beautiful right so it's incredible yeah they serve a little dish of something and it's it's you know it's sprinkled with this and it's beautiful they do a door and it's gra- it's it's gorgeous and everything's yeah. beautiful yeah Right? Yeah, the expectation level they set for themselves is just <laughs> phenomenal. And what do you th- now, have you guys used the Bromble product? We have in some projects. There's a few others that we've been trying to introduce it in. It's been yeah. a struggle sometimes in the market in the U.S. to get it to actually get it into projects. And that's one of the things we want to really try to help our, our clients and right. our builders understand. The quality you get isn't comparable to some of the other products that are being compared to it in the right. States. And so it needs to really be understood what you're getting. Uh, right. For what you're at, you know, paying for. So. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of these houses that we do, and what I said earlier is just, you know, the windows and doors, uh, to me, always make or break a house. And so when you're putting the level of finishes and all these other products into the house, yeah, I get it. It all adds up to the budget. But the longevity, I think, of this product and the, 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 the you know, maintenance. Uh, people always talk about the cost per square foot to build, but they don't ever talk about the cost to squ- of square foot to maintain. Correct. You know? And I think this product just has such a timeless factor to it. That's one of the striking things as well is that uh, you'll find in all, what I've found in all the Italian uh, fabricators and, and companies is that there's a, a tendency or a, a, a mindset that this should last multiple generations. Right. That's the, the environment they've grown up in. They've right. grown up in homes that have been around many, many generations. And when they, when they construct something or fabricate something or do a piece of art, they expect that to be around for hundreds for of years. Yeah. yeah. And in the US market right now, it seems like we have taken a very disposable approach the way we build and construct everything, and fabricate. We assume as long as it's good enough for 20 years, it yeah. won't matter because I'll either sell it or demolish it. And sure. I mean, we build an, stadiums that only last 20 years. It's very unfortunate that that's the mindset. Yeah. So. Now, that's one of the things I love about coming here is it is, it is a different sense of time that the, that the Italians have. Absolutely. Everything. I mean, a meal lasts four hours. Oh, yeah. Everything is just. It's appreciated and, and enjoyed. And yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Cool. So when are you coming back? I will come back as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> I've, already, I've already been talking to uh, several other groups that I want to see the Italian products uh, out here that have some opportunities to come out. And so hopefully I'll be able to come out again maybe in the spring. So Bring your wife. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Get out of the doghouse. Oh, yeah, there you go. She would love it. Well, great job. I'm looking forward to catching up with you now in, the, in Arizona. Absolutely. We've had uh, some fun nights with John. Yeah. I'll get him here in the podcast in a little bit, maybe after he's had a little more wine. Uh, yeah, you better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Absolutely. We're going to be getting up really early tomorrow, by yeah, the way. Absolutely. Okay, I've had a couple of the product reps. I've had another architect. I want to get a builder that's actually used this product. And I found a great guy. If 
from the East Coast, from the Hamptons. Greg Eicher, we spent some good time with you at lunch, a few times, dinner. This has been one hell of a trip, hasn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, we've had, we've had some ups and downs, and so we need some rest, and I mean... We've, time, we've, gone, we've gotten strong on this trip. A lot of time on the bus. A lot of time, and a lot of time on the bus, which is sometimes a little tough. So anyway, you, you build beautiful, uh, you showed me some of these houses that you do in, on the Hamptons and the, in New York City and all over the East yes. Coast there, right? Yep. Fantastic homes. I mean, Thank you. you do contemporary, traditional, you've done the whole gamut in seawater and pylons. And I mean, you guys deal with some crazy stuff. Yes, it's not, not exactly easy. You know what, it's really... It's the end all be all of construction. I yeah. mean, you know, let's face it. Uh, everyone wants to be in the Hamptons. Uh, plus, you have the elements to deal with. Your proximity to water. It's a lot. It's a but lot. You know what? Well, just the logistical standpoint of building in the Hamptons is, is is much more difficult than building in Arizona. Oh, of course. I mean, you're, you're dealing with sand. I mean, one of the most uh, movable solids there is. Yeah, and you took the, the, the groundwater or the water table is, what, three feet, sometimes below the, the surface of the ground? If you're lucky, you can get three feet. Wow, that's amazing. That's, that's not our situation in Arizona, as you probably can guess. No, I, I think I might prefer the rock and the mountains, <laughs> you know. At, at least you can move solids. I mean, yeah. uh, when you're fighting with water and there's nowhere for it to go but just keep filling up the hole, uh, it doesn't make it things easy. That's crazy. So you've used the Bromble product. Yes, sir. And what, if you miss, give us your input. And This is your first Bromble tour? Have you been on the tour before? I've never been on the tour before. Okay. The uh, This is my first time. I used the product uh, in the past, and... Uh, my my first experience was phenomenal. Mm. I mean, we and you worked with one of the architects here, right, Chris? Yes, sir. Uh, Chris Coy, Barnes Chris Coy, Coy Barnes Coy Architects. Yep. Uh, they're out of Bridgehampton, right near. And he's us. been on the tour five times. I understand. Th this is actually his sixth time. Sixth time. Okay. Amazing. No, so uh, it's great working with Chris. Um, I actually the first time I used the product, I actually wasn't with them. It was another firm we used, but it's uh, it's a beautiful product. I mean, Brown Ball. They know what they're doing. They. They really love to, they love to show. I, I from this tour, I can see it. They love to show their passion for the product yeah. and how they're able to come up with such beautiful lines of, you know, with their steel and their glass, the bronze. I mean, flexibility all, in their product. Oh, and, and the fact that it's so customizable. I mean, yeah. they really they want you to be comfortable with everything they're handing to you, and there's no such thing as no. It's you know, it's always, we'll see what we can do. Right. Now, have you been to Italy before? No, sir. This is your first trip, too. Yes. I just had two newbies just before you. So what's your what's your takeaway on, on, on Italy? Uh, it's a gorgeous country. I mean, I, I've been all over the world, and my first time here, and I'm, I'm really impressed. You know what? I mean, you were just in Switzerland, I think, before yes, you came sir. here. Yes. Right? For the, with another company that you're dealing with. Yes. Uh, we were actually uh, with Skyframe. Yeah. It, really impressive product. We, it was in Zurich, you yes, said? Yes, out of Zurich. Um, it's more a aluminum company instead of steel. Okay. And just, you know, very impressive, uh, minimal sight lines, and we were very happy with what we saw, but Bromble is really a step above hmm. with the steel and uh, just their entire facility, the fact that they have impact testing on site. Yeah, that was pretty impressive, it's wasn't it? it? Yeah, <coughs> absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's a total product. You, you, don't, you don't even see that in the States yeah. where you can access an impact facility. The fact that they built their own, it's just a true testament to what they want to bring to the to the, to the uh, trade. Yeah, absolutely. So are you going to come back? Come back to Italy? Oh, of course. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can't wait till we get the shop drawing process started. Uh, you know, we already spoke with management, and we have a project starting in three or four months. Wow. And, uh, we're looking forward to getting the final architectural so we can get the ball rolling. Excellent. So any crazy projects you got going right now? Uh, right now, we're in the process just finishing off architecturals. We have a few things. In, um, we have actually two projects on the South Fork in the building department. We're just waiting for the final stamp of approval. Nice. And also one on the North Fork, and uh, we just can't wait to get started. Awesome. Well, it was great meeting you. You too, Mark. And Thank I'm you. hoping we can collaborate on one of our little Montauk projects. We okay. were talking about that quite a bit. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I finally got, know somebody that I, can, I think I can rely on and trust over there. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Great job, man. Give us the name of your company. Consiglio Builders. Consiglio Builders. That sounds Italian to me. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> All right, brother. Okay, I've got the star of the show here now. I've got Pierpaolo. He is the, one of the sons of the family of Brambal. Right? Yeah. And what is your title? 
My title is the CFO of the company and uh, sales and accounting manager. Okay, so we've gotten to spend quite a bit of time with you on the trip mm -hmm. and the tour, which has been fabulous. This is my seventh window tour that I've been on in my life. Oh, okay? good. Three in Italy, but this is the best I've ever been on by far. Oh, fabulous. I thank mean, you. Your family is absolutely... Are you saying that because I'm in front of you or not? No, everyone's <laughs> heard me say that. So there's a lot of things about your company which I have, to, I have to give you the top bar to in the way you run the company, in the way you treat everybody. And it's something that we've tried to do with our company, very similar. I, I like to cook. I like to barbecue. We like to have our clients over for dinner. It does something. It, it connects. And it's something I've learned from coming to Italy. This is my 21st time to Italy. Wow. And I love Italy. Yeah. And Thank you. And watching you and watching Matteo and, and Mi Michela. Mi Michela. Beautiful. You guys have passion. I mean, Italy has passion, but you guys definitely have passion. Thank where does you. That, where does that come from? I don't know where it's come from. It's just in your DNA. Maybe, maybe, yeah, it's our DNA. <laughs> it's uh, the, um, the concept, the education yeah. from my family. So it's part of our life and our culture. Yeah. yeah, your product is absolutely spectacular, by the way. And I enjoyed how I enjoyed your presentations that you gave with the videos. Yeah. Those were fantastic, and I think it really embodied what you just said. So they were very well done. Thank you. And so your family, your father that started this company? My father founded the company in 1970. Okay. But he started to work as a craftsmanship metalwork when he was uh, 14 years old. Wow. When uh, my grandfather, so his father, passed away, he was the only boy with uh, four sisters and a mother. Wow. So he have to leave the school and go back to work. Uh, and this is where we start to learn about steel. He started to learn about steel. Yeah. And uh, transfer this, this passion and love to us. Huh. I started to work in the factory, very small factory. I was 14 years old too, in the summer after school. Nice. And, uh, we cannot enjoy the summer, but he was telling us, come on here to help. <laughs> so well, I think that's what's neat. I, I've seen a lot of companies in Italy that I've known. I've been coming here for 20 years. And some, uh, it's very sad for me to see some of the companies not make the transition from generation to generation with some of these arts. Like in, there's a family in Deruta that makes the beautiful pottery and the plates. And they closed. They, the, the children this did not want to do it. In Veneto region, in this part of Italy, the transition... Uh, between the father and the son yeah. is one of the biggest issues. In a lot, of, a lot of companies, right? Yes, because yes. Uh, a lot of the first generation uh, for who founded the company is hard to transfer their heart and their love. Right, and the hard work, and the hard work. And the hard work to other generation, also if they are the son. Right. And this part of the... Fail of many Veneto region companies, hmm. high quality companies. Yeah. So it's both you and your brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. And your brother's name is Leonardo. 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 Yeah. So we got to meet both of you this whole week, and it's been wonderful. And I, I am very excited that you you both want to take this company forward for, from your father. And to me, that's very beautiful. You know, we start <laughs> with a lot of. Uh, Enthusiasm, mm -hmm. enthusiasm, and yep. uh, we love uh, to expand our company. Uh, right now, we are a worldwide company. We have market in uh, Oceania, we have market in Asia, we have market in Russia. Yeah, thank you. I saw a, a, a project that was going yeah. in the Philippines, in we Manila. In Philippines, we have a project in Israel. Wow. But I think one of the biggest responsibility right now that. I feel is the 50, 60 family that work for us. Yeah, I know that feeling. This is one of my first things yep. in the morning and the night when I come back. So yes, yes, I know exactly what you mean. For all the people that work hard in our company and they have uh, wives and they have uh, children. Ch children in the, the house. So 
we are working for that right, right. Now. now do you have children i have one yeah yeah how old three years old oh you're Adult. just getting started yeah boy or girl i, I girl i'm girl. the hard partner right now okay <laughs> so you know i just like your father made the transition or is making has made the transition with you do you think about that with your daughter or does does your brother think the same with his children do you think you guys will be able to carry it on I don't know if I wish that for my huh. daughter. Yeah. You know, uh, it's hard work, uh, isn't it? Tough work. And yes. we are in two, and me and my brother. And uh, I think that if something happened to me or my brother, I don't think we are able to proceed the company because there are a lot of things that is going on and problems and difficult. And, you know, and yeah. So, People so don't realize all no. the stuff that happens beyond your company that can affect your company. Yeah. And you have no control sometimes. Uh, the clients see a final product. Wonderful, beautiful uh, yeah. masterpiece of a uh, windows and door. But uh, it's a long process. It's an artisan process. Yes. Uh, it's a difficult material to work. Uh, many problems every day. Also, if you have pro a product we work for a lot of years. Yeah. Uh, so many problems, yeah. Right. No, and that was, was impress Im very impressive to me was just the adaptability of your product to different situations, different conditions, different climates. I like the flexibility and the technology and the creativity that is infused into your product. That's, that's what struck me as something very unique. Yeah, you know, the, the discover freedom to create... Yes, I like that tagline. the tagline that... <laughs> take us different from all the competition. Oh, yeah. Big you know? time different. Uh, this is our goal. That sometimes is also a, a negative thing because uh, we, uh, we hate say uh, no. Yeah. We say, okay, <laughs> let, let, let's uh, see what we can do. And we, we try as much we can to, to get the client happy. Right. You know? I say, my name is Candelaria. I, I say we, it's Candelaria, not Cantelaria. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cant is no and cant are words I do not like. There's always a way, right? Yeah. You sing very well last night. Uh, by the way, Matteo over here, <laughs> this guy can sing. I got it started, and they took it over. They did a great job. Yeah. But that's a good segue. Thank you so much for this fabulous week. And yeah. we talked about uh, the connectivity and just getting to know somebody. It's, it, it's, it's more than just knowing about the windows. I, I can open a window brochure and look at the windows and look at the doors, and it's like, okay, yeah, what's, what's so special about Your company is special. Your family is special. This memory that is going to soak into my brain is, is special. There's a passion that excites me. We try to put all our energy to make special product for special clients. Yeah. So... And we do the same with our clients. We, I would love to find the right client that wants to use your product and bring them here and have them see the product, see the factory, see Mateo, see you, see the whole group. Because it, the, the family in Deruta is a good example. We would walk into their showroom and they would see these beautiful handmade plates from Deruta and it's like 120 euros for one plate. And like, what? And then when they do the factory tour, mm -hmm. and they'd meet Luigi and Mama, who paints the... And they go, I'll buy a dozen. <laughs> See? No, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same yeah. thing. I think when people come here and understand the story and the passion, you want that product in your house. You want to be surrounded by that product. You want something special. So you want something special. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much. This has been one of the most fabulous weeks. I think I've gained... 10 pounds, and I've got to go home for Thanksgiving it's dinner. Not, it's not too much for Italy. So. No, I, not, not too much for Italy. <laughs> I keep bringing more of Italy home, oh, as yeah. I say, but it's all good. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for it's, coming. It's, it's a real pleasure to have met yeah. you. And Always you welcome. Us, you treated us like royalty. Thank Th you very much. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I've been really looking forward to uh, my final person here that uh, I've kind of shared first night, we had a great time. I think we smoked a cigar, had a little bourbon. Someone brought some packs some bourbon for this trip. I don't know why, that just crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I, I've got John Bernhard here from our good friends at Swayback Associates in Scottsdale, Arizona. We came all the way over to Italy just to have a drink with you. I mean, what, what does that say about us? The things we do. <laughs> <laughs> so fellow ARA member and um, 
Yeah, I, I, it's just a real honor to have some time with you. I say the same. Right? It's fantastic time. Yeah. What better place to do oh it? Oh, my God. We've had fun. <laughs> we've seen so much now. Have you used the Brom Ball product? You have, haven't you? Or you I've, got one coming? I've got two coming. You actually. got two coming. This is your second tour. Second trip, and I was introduced to it the first trip, and and everything that we just heard a, a little closing. Yeah, uh, for the family, it, and yep. and everything that they said, talking about a family and and the passion that goes into the product. It's, it's it's genuine, right? And, and when you if you can see the product, uh, it, it, there's only one window manufacturer. Yeah, out there. it's an incredible. And I mean, the type of work you guys do, you guys do stuff. You're doing stuff in Mexico. You're doing stuff all over. International. That's International. Right. Yeah. Um, and all styles. You do contemporary, you do traditional. Right. But I, what I see is always you guys just do great work. You guys are always raising the bar, and I love that. Love to hear it from people like you. No, well, we've had some fun. We've eaten a lot of food. Hey, you can't eat anymore. <laughs> Literally, we could not fit anymore. And when you think that last meal was the last time you're going to eat, and then a couple hours later, we're doing it again. Yes. And it's beautiful Italian food. Too. Yes, that was great. And you brought your wife, which I, had, I enjoyed meeting. Yeah, it was nice to have that. Uh, yep. And her friend uh, Trisha. Trisha was here, yeah. Yeah, and they kind of went out on their own, didn't they? Saw a lot of Italy. While yeah, they we went into Venice. I know everyone was concerned about Venice, but the water, I guess, receded right away, and they hopped out. on the train and were down there, and they had a great day. Yeah, they said if they didn't know that, didn't hear all about the news and the flooding, they wouldn't even have known. Everything was dry. And yeah. The weather was right. It was great. It's amazing how that city recovers. <laughs> yeah, it's, hopefully, it'll continue. And are, are you guys flying back tomorrow with us, or are you staying another day? No, we're, we're on the 6 a.m. You're on the 6 a.m., <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got the, They finally got the ping pong balls. I see over there for the yeah, ping more pong competition, table. Competition, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so tell us about these projects that you got going with the Brom Ball product. Well, one's in Vegas. Okay. Um, it's a, uh, it's a view lot that you just can't repeat. imagine. It's just incredible. So when you have a pro, when you have an opportunity like that, you got to have the dress sliders and the biggest panels. Yeah. And, uh, so that one we're we're loading with uh, Brom Ball, and then there's another. There's a penthouse in in Manhattan. Um, where we're really dealing with some challenges because we're, if you get big panels, you can't take them up the elevator, <laughs> yeah. and, and that introduces some challenges. I'm, we're on the 57th floor. Oh, my gosh. That's so, amazing. So we're dealing with size limitations and wind loads and, and all the programming. And, the, and so often I've had, to, had the challenge where we've already specified the windows. We get the shop drawings, and then there's a disclaimer that says, by the way, we can't meet your requirements, so sign here. In Bromwell, they ask the questions before you get to that point. Right. So when you're putting something in front of the client saying, isn't this wonderful, you know that you can deliver it and you can cover it and it's warranted. You can't yeah, I almost it. got the feeling in this whole week of being here, they almost kind of welcome and look forward to giving them the challenge. Yeah, it's the, it, you could tell the team don't want to do status quo. <laughs> yeah, like, no. Bring it on. I'll bring show it on. You what we can do. That's what's so damn and cool, I think. Not only in, in the engineering, but in the customizing of the profiles right. and the sizes and the materials. How it interacts the with the other materials of the project. It's fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. So you've been with Swayback how long? 33. 33 years. Holy cow. And where are you from originally? Uh, I'm a Midwestern guy. I was from Minnesota. Minnesota. How would you end up down in Arizona? Uh, it was a family move. My, my mom moved down here. I'd never even seen a... Some cactus country before cactus <laughs> and i came down for for a, a winter break and and swam outside in december it's things like that an orange tree how old I, were you uh i was probably four wow <laughs> no i was i was in college oh, okay well, maybe i was still four but i was very <laughs> long time ago <laughs> so 33 years yeah, yeah. it's been quite a journey huh yeah and it's it's you know working with Vern swabeck yeah been a, a, a real thrill i mean I, on day one listening to him preach about the uh, authenticity of architecture and, and, yeah. and all the things that he learned working with Frank Lloyd Wright, and he's still preaching the same. He's the genuine article. Yeah, so don't you see the similarity between him and, and what we saw here at Brom Ball? The genuine article. Right? right? Exactly. Same same yeah. spirit, right? Exactly right. Yeah. So do you have any kids? I do. I have two, one of which is going into architecture. There you go, see? Yeah, and uh, he's, in fact, in the uh, U.K. getting his master's. That's so got to be kind of cool. Global, yeah. That's very cool. So, what's next for John? I'm going to keep doing. How old are you right now? I'm almost 16. Yeah. <laughs> you went from four to 16 pretty fast, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I'm in my late 50s. I, <laughs> you and I are 60. about the same. Yeah, I think we are. Yep. Yeah, so I, I want to just keep doing this. I'm having a great time. We're getting inter- we're getting opportunities to meet uh, amazing people, with, with amazing people, <laughs> and doing it in Italy and, and yeah, to continue to do that. Yeah, I mean, I think architects are one of those breeds that it's not a job. It's just who you are and. Mm. 
we were talking just a minute ago about sketching and drawing, and yeah. uh, we're still both old school dudes that well, love doing that. It's, it's a joy talking to you about it because I think <laughs> we're in that same place. Oh, yeah. We've been doing this a long time. We don't have to go to work anymore, but no. we want to. No, we want to. Yep. Well, thanks again, man. I'll see you uh, maybe out on the patio for one more cigar. It could I think happen. I think we have time. It looks like they found some ping pong balls, like I said, so I think they got that going. What time is it here? It's... Uh, a little after 10 p.m. we got to burn about five hours before we get, yeah, on, we the get on that plane, so I think we, we can make it. We just got some grappa and some Prosecco. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got a good send-off, right? We're going to make it, man. <laughs> well, thanks Thank again, you. brother. Thank you, Mark. I'll see you back in AZ. All right, great talking. All right. Well, we're wrapping things up here. We had some beautiful uh, speeches from the, the father of the family and some of the representatives from throughout the country. And that was a nice send-off. And I got Vivian back here. She started the podcast with me, and I think it's only appropriate that she finishes it with me. What did you think of that? That was a nice little presentation, wasn't it? Very nice. Very nice, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they gave us some little bottles of, uh, not little bottles, but big bottles of Prosecco and Grappa. And grappa. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> to wow. have fun with, yes. I don't think I've drank so much Prosecco and Grappa in a week in my life. I know. But it was good. Get ready. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what was really fun about this trip was Obviously, we saw a fantastic product in the Bromball window and door system. But I think in listening to all of the interviews tonight, what struck me was, you know, everyone said the word passion, number one. Uh, It's just the story behind the product, right? That's correct. I mean, I think it is beyond what the product is. And what they do. Exactly. Yeah. And I think we try to do the same thing, don't you think? That's our culture. That's our culture, the Candelaria Mm -hmm. design culture, right? Well, we base everything for and you've been with me almost, what, 20 years now? Yeah, it's 19 and a half. 19 and a half, Five right? Years. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Amazing how the time flies. Well, I spo- I've spoken about you on many of the podcasts, and, and it's nice to finally have you on the podcast. Thank you. And what have those 20 years been like? Oh, my God. If I, if I have to sum- summary ev- everything, summarize everything in one word, it's just like, I don't know what the word will be, <laughs> but it's um, an amazing journey. It's been it's a journey, hasn't it? Definitely. We've definitely. had ups, we've had downs, we've had, we've had robust times, we've had recessions, we've had marriages and, and, and divorces. We keep going. And we keep going, don't yes, we? Yes, not looking back, Whew. for sure. And we got some amazing projects, and I hope we have something that we can use this Bromball product on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? So when are you coming out to Italy again? Um, I hope the next April. I think next April, April huh? April, right? That's yeah. in the... Oh, we're talking about that Milan uh-huh. trip, aren't we? Yes. <coughs> yeah, we're com- probably coming out for uh, Design Week. Design Week. And uh, the show in Milan, which Isabel and I were, was at this last year. And yeah, that would be fantastic. That would be great. Yeah, we you're going to love join. that. We've got a great project we're doing in Scottsdale uh, for a client in Munich, Germany. Mm-hmm. Jawohl. And... Uh, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I'm looking forward to collaborate with that Milan company. Yes. Just to get all the uh, meal work, on com- you know, the all the train details and everything honed in. And I think it would be amazing. Yeah, it's a great project sure. with the De- Cesare Design Group and Tom Argue, Argue Custom Homes. And so, yeah, that's probably, it will be the next time we're out here in uh, Italy, right? A few months. <laughs> goes by fast. Doesn't everything go by fast? Everything. It's already November, end of November. I know. Almost December. It's nuts, huh? Yes. <laughs> so we leave at uh, the bus or whatever picks us up at 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. Our flight leaves at like 6.25 a.m. Yes. We fly to Paris, switch planes, fly to Detroit. Detroit. And we get home about what time? 6.40. 6.40 in the evening, Friday night. Friday night. Wow. I know. And then uh, we have a project in Salt Lake that you and I are working on. You leave Sunday. And I leave Sunday night for that. Come back Monday night. And then Thanksgiving is Thursday. That's it. It's a short week. <laughs> Man. All good, though, right? It's okay. It's all great. It's all good. Yeah. So let's do it, huh? Let's do it. Back to the States we go. We got our grappa. We got our Prosecco. We're ready. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody, for uh, tuning in. This has been a wonderful trip here to uh, north of Venice. We're in the Veneto area near Asolo, near um, uh, Torviso. And uh, we've had a beautiful trip. We've gone to little villages. We drank grappa. We've eaten more food than you can ever imagine. We've seen great products. We've met architects and builders from across the country. And that's why I love doing these trips. 
it's so the variety of it and the, the people you meet and exposure. It, it's it's an it's an amazing experience. It's very inspiring, sure. isn't yes, it? Absolutely. Yeah. So, <laughs> ciao from Italy. Stay tuned for more of inspiring living. I know I'm trying to talk Italian. This is about as far as I'm going to get, but uh, we love you all and ciao from Italy. Such a fun trip. I tell you, it is beautiful to be back here in Arizona. It's a beautiful sunny Saturday. Just enjoying chilling out and uh, actually getting ready to go to Salt Lake City tomorrow. We've got a great project that we're doing up there with my partner, Vivian Ayala. And I'm going to also be meeting another client who lives there in Salt Lake now, but we'll be doing a new home for them in Durango, Colorado. So quick trip, come back Monday night, and then we'll get ready for Thanksgiving. We've got another podcast that we'll release right before Thanksgiving. Uh, you'll enjoy that, and then we'll take the Thanksgiving break and be back the following Monday. So anyway, I just want to make a quick shout-out to my partner, Meredith Thompson, who smoked it at the Lux Magazine Battle of the Chefs. She was teamed up with uh, fellow chef Jennifer Russo of the market uh, there on Indian School, and uh, they beat three other teams. And so you see, I'm not the only one doing the cooking. We're, we're all doing some cooking at Candelaria Design. So anyway, uh, great job. I'm really proud of her. And um, we will go from there. So make it a great week. Do your best to inspire living wherever you go. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed our podcast. We encourage you to write a review, screenshot it, and share it with your friends. Please instant message it to me and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We thank you for listening and we look forward to sharing more insights to inspiring living next week.